Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to tackle the subject of character development uh, or character design or character creation. Uh, it goes by a lot of names, but um, character development seems a little bit more appropriate because we're going to develop an original character. And so, um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to research. And uh, these steps can be applied to any design uh, project that you might have. Uh, you research for ideas. You go online and look at other people's work and to, to generate some ideas. And we're going to go through these steps one by one. And I'm going to uh, elaborate a little bit more on each step. Second step is you collect reference images, like I said looking through the internet for images, then you collect reference images. Uh, from those images, you're going to do an inspiration board. Uh, once you have from that inspiration board, you're going to draw some thumbnail sketches. And uh, after you do the thumbnail sketches, you get an idea, a better idea of your character. You're going to refine the final sketch. And then finally, draw the final artwork for concept art. Uh, okay, guys, so let's uh, dig in. Let's go ahead and get started. First step is to research. Do some research. Get creative inspiration. Where do you get, where do you start? Uh, a couple of websites. Google is a good one. Google Images. Uh, Pinterest, ArtStation. There might be others. Uh, and you can... Just go to Google and Google character design just to get, just to look around and start looking at different characters. Also, Pinterest is a good one. Um, you just search character design and there's a bunch of char different characters from uh, all sorts of styles. Uh, ArtStation is, a, is an awesome um, source of inspiration there's just a ton of drawings and images from artists all over the world so you can get a lot of inspiration uh, from um, just looking at these three but there might be others uh, when i say getting inspiration um, the the inspiration is the process of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something especially to do something creative so as you look at these, we go back to our um, research here. And as you look at uh, these images, you collect the images. So we're going to collect reference images. As, as many as you can, as many as you want. There is no limit. There is no set uh, number of images to collect. As you see something uh, and you like something from any of these images, Grab it, collect it, uh, and we're going to do something else with those images. Um, and we're collecting these images to get inspiration, not to steal. Very, very different. You don't want to just download an image and copy it outright. That would be plagiarism. That would be stealing, and that's not good. You get a bunch of images, and you get bits and pieces from all of them, and you come up with an original design. That's why you collect a bunch of images and not just one. After you collect all the images, you will create an inspirational board. What is an inspirational board? An inspirational board is just a place where you organize all these images and you make notes you crop them, you highlight what you liked about that image. I like the style, I like the hair and the shoes on this one, maybe the cape and the sheath. Um, anything, you can make notes, you can make several images uh, of all of these images. Um, and so you can create this nice presentation for yourself just to remind you what you're trying to achieve. In this case, I'm trying to make a little boy like this kind of a warrior in the post-apocalyptic era 
where he has to fend for himself. And so you'll see uh, some of these influences uh, of this guy, this guy, this guy. Um, and you'll see some of the influences. And that's what it's supposed to be like. Let's go back. So after you create your inspirational board, we're going to draw thumbnail sketches. The thumbnail sketches are there for one reason, and that's to record your ideas. Um, as you look at these, as you look at these images, you're going to start getting a bunch of ideas. And so you need to start drawing them. Um, thumbnail sketches are, are little tiny rough very rough sketches just to get your idea out and record it you'll you'll do the thumbnail sketches uh is for any any type of design uh this is for flyers uh, and i like this uh, example because they've got so many different ideas as to how they can design it maybe for a character it might look like this thumbnail sketches character design uh, maybe it would look like this uh, or something like this. Now, they have to be A, small enough. They have to be rough, fast. You don't want to sit there and, and do final sketches because that might take too long. And, and besides, you might want to change the aspect. So just rough little sketches if you have an idea you're you're looking at your inspiration uh, board and you get an idea oh I could do this with this and and this this hairstyle maybe this jacket and these shoes uh, you quickly draw it out um, in your thumbnail sketches boom that's that would be one idea thumbnail sketches are very very important for you to get your ideas and record them on paper, but you don't want to spend way, way too much time on this because uh, they're not final. It's just to get ideas out and a lot of them. The next step is a character development sheet. Fill it out. Uh, there are lots of examples. There's a lot of examples out there. You can Google uh, character development sheet and then fill out the first name of your character. If he has a middle name, last name, nicknames, gender, is he a boy, girl, title, age, hair, eyes, whatever distinctive features, motivation, what's his history, where was he born, what did his parents do. Uh, as you connect to your character, the more you connect to the character and the more you know about this character, the better your illustration will be. Character development, that's, a, that's what character development means. You're developing a character for a game, a film, an animation, or whatever. You have to know its backstory, at least what the name is, where does he come from? What's his situation? What led him to be in this situation? All that stuff you need to write down and have, even just for your own knowledge. Trust me, it really does help. It gives your character, you, you get a connection to your character and it gives your character more character. So get a character development sheet. And fill it out there's a lot of examples guys you could you know go go through this and just Google character development sheet fill it out and you, if you're working for a client they might give you a character development sheet which then you go from there and develop the character uh, and so after you've done that um, and you have all your thumbnail sketches and you've done your character development sheet then you refine the sketch you refine the sketch, combine ideas from one drawing, from one thumbnail sketch to the other. You get the best ideas out of all the characters you've sketched out and combine them and then refine your sketch. Once you've refined the sketch, the final step is to draw the final concept art. 
uh, extra you could draw a character sheet also in a character sheet it is you might want to draw your character from different angles maybe in a T pose like this um, maybe the T pose uh, is just black and white but the hero shot is colored you might want to draw just the, the back the front and the back and then some expressions it depends what the client wants, but if you're the client and you're doing it for yourself, maybe a game or whatever, you need to draw the angles that are important to you and the expressions that might be important to you. Uh, so this is from all angles, front, side, back, uh, and three quarter, plus a hero shot. A hero shot is just a character posing um, for the camera as themselves here's another example some of his attributes his clothing his shoe and then uh, three-quarter front three-quarter back and the hero um, the hero shot so there's a lot of examples character concept sheet uh, here is I I did this character here and um, we're gonna go through the steps here are the thumbnail sketches that I did for it. Um, I just did some ideas. I had an idea for a um, kind of a pilot skull cap with the goggles, uh, with a vest, uh, maybe some torn jeans. Um, this guy has a cape that goes all the way, but he's very muscular with a buzz cut. Uh, this guy is a little bit more clean cut, but he has this... Uh, this big collar with a with a uh, sword in the back uh, this guy has a, uh, a cape with kind of a, a scarf that goes around his neck uh, and then this guy um, has a has a mohawk so I did different haircuts this guy uh, actually developed some kind of wings that he could fly He's got the two katanas. Uh, and so they're basically just um, boys. So I, I kind of picked this one. I really liked his stands and, and, his, and even his expression. And I kind of refined the sketch here. Um, I refined the sketch. I, I did the logo. Uh, I went from this pose to his, his arm being bent out, having the katana. Or the or the sword in his hand, uh, and he's kind of you know he's kind of pissed off about something. He's going to fight somebody, so he's got an attitude because you know he has to fend for himself. Uh, and then the shading. Here here's the shading. So this would be final artwork. Plus, if you go the extra mile and you want to do some shading, uh, you can do some shading. Um, with highlights and shadows, maybe the shadow underneath. Um, but if you're going to do the actual animation, you might even have to simplify this. This might have a little too many details. And so for animation, you might want to get rid of some of these lines because they might be too much to animate. Remember, you have to draw this guy in several poses, frame after frame after frame. So you might want to have a simplified version. So this might be the hero shot for the art um, cover art or to present to the client. Uh, and maybe we simplify him to animate him. So guys, uh, I hope that this is helpful. Remember, the first step is research download reference images once you have all the reference images downloaded create an inspirational bowl there's a lot of apps and websites that do do this for you i just happen to like google slides because it's already there i have it it's part of my google uh suite uh, as you get ideas even in this stage when you're collecting when you're doing uh draw the thumbnail sketches Remember, this is to record your ideas, and we're trying to come up with an idea, an original idea, 
for your character. Remember to do the character development sheet. Very important. Uh, then refine your sketch, combine ideas, and then drawing the final concept art should be easy enough because all of that work has been done. Not a big problem. Uh, hey guys, I really do wish that uh, this has been helpful to you. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.